Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Bitcoin is still falling and as I told you also in yesterday's video my friends the target was 49k. We met our target so let's analyze right now what could happen here at 49k. Is this a potential bottom or what is the worst case scenario if we're gonna continue to go lower than that so to call you all here my friends first some good news we are still on track with the bitcoin stock to flow price model we came exactly back down towards this blue line where we should be trading at based on the stock to flow model price level so as you can see forty seven thousand nine hundred dollars is the price where bitcoin should be trading at right now after the halving that we had in 2020 so that's why my friends i'm telling you that most likely we are reaching our targets way above 100k more towards the end of this year also based on the bitcoin stock to flow price model and on the way to the upside we're gonna have several pullbacks sometimes even heavy ones like the one that we are seeing right now so based on the stock to flow price model we are still on our way towards this 100k target so every time that the bitcoin price is coming back down to this blue line here or maybe even drop below this always was a very good buy and long opportunity for the long term my friends so don't freak out if the price is even dropping below the stock to flow model price level this is always a good buy opportunity for the long term it of course can go still lower but for the long term if you have a time horizon of at least one year then you should be doing fine by buying right now or even if we drop a bit lower than $49,000 which of course is still possible but based here on the stock to flow price model it looks like that the bottom could be in here and we should be looking now for further continuation to the upside but we still have some other big warning signs in the charts so that's why my friends we're gonna enter into the spot chart and analyze the price action right now but before we do that a little reminder go and claim your one thousand dollars in bonus over on bybit here you can trade bitcoin when we go up and also if we go down so if you are shorting right now of course you're doing some nice gains and if you open up a new account with my link down below here and also go here to this bonus claim web page then you can get up to one thousand dollars in bonus so you can do some free trades with that money and if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage but you also want to make some nice gains then try out bitscap because they are offering to our community 14 days completely for free for the pro plan where you can use arbitrage and of course also their trading bots which are very profitable wherever the price is going so the bot is always selling and buying all the time and is doing nice profits it's kind of passive money you don't do big gains here but uh, like this at least uh, you have a little bit of a passive uh, income if you're using their trading bots and after these 14 days you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is starting from only 19 dollars so you should get this money very quickly back uh, month by month and if you want to take advantage of these 14 days completely for free with those trading bots and do arbitrage then use the link that you also find here in the description to get this free trial with the pro plan and now my friends let's start here with the content we're gonna start here in the four hour time frame because as you can see here the target is met here that we had from this breakout to the downside from the symmetrical triangle yesterday i told you my friends that if here we are not able to recover again above this resistance line because we were testing it and confirming it as a resistance then we should be heading towards 49k and this is where I'm expecting a potential bounce maybe even a bottom if we are able to push again higher and of course also bring the money flow back into green because currently we have negative money flow so money is leaving the market and that of course is bearish and that's why we should maybe expect even continuation to the downside but at least for now there is a chance that here at 48 49k we're gonna see a bounce to the upside to maybe retest 
51 or maybe even 53 thousand dollars and then we're gonna see if we're strong enough to push higher towards our next potential huge resistance up here between 60 to 62 K or if we're gonna get rejected here already at 51 53 K and then continue our correction towards lower levels so if here we're gonna see a breather because we are completely oversold here in the four hour time frame, my target is here to reach this 51 to $53,000 to then see if we are able to push higher or if this is already the new resistance and we will head towards lower levels. So I think in the next coming hours, we could get this retest here also because we are far away from all the moving averages and also from the EMA ribbons. So after this big drop and after reaching our target and also after touching this important stock to flow price here at $57,000 the chances are very high that we're gonna see here a bounce to the upside and maybe even bottom out for now and go up towards 60 to 62 K because I still keeping up my long position I still think that we are most likely gonna see 60 K before any bigger correction than that because in theory we are still in our uptrend especially in the daily time frame but if in the daily time frame we are about to create a lower high so lower than $65,000 then I think this was the local top and we're gonna start a prolonged correction which will take us even lower but at least for now I'm expecting a potential breather even up here towards 60 to 62k to retest and maybe even confirm this as a new resistance and at the same time also close this big CME gap that we have up here at around $62,000. So since in the lower time frames we are far away from all the moving averages and here in this important price level of 49k we could get a bounce or even a bottom I'm expecting here a huge bounce to the upside hopefully to reach also the 60 to 62k area and then we're gonna see if we're gonna create here a lower high or if we're gonna see follow through to the upside because we're still in our bull market so in theory we should expect the price to go higher and also create new all-time highs. But of course, if here we're gonna start to create lower highs in the daily time frame and confirm this $62,000 as a new resistance, this yellow trend line, then I think this is just the beginning of a prolonged correction. Until then, we're gonna bottom out somewhere and then, of course, restart our parabolic bull run towards 100K and higher. And here in the daily time frame, you can see that although right now we are coming to the 100 daily moving average. So if today we are able to close above $49,500, so both the 100 daily moving average, I think that here we could see a bottom at least for now. We could maybe even get a buy signal here in my own indicator because we are looking extremely oversold. Also the RSI is coming into a complete oversold condition where we haven't been since months. And even though money flow is coming now into negative I still think that we could have here a big bounce to the upside if today we are able to close above the 100 daily moving average similar like we did also in 2013 make sure that you have watched my video from yesterday there I show you what happened in 2013 after a local top we also came back down to the 100 daily moving average stayed a bit down here consolidated and then we had another big bounce to the upside created a lower high and then started a huge big sell-off towards the 200 daily moving average where then we had a prolonged correction phase and afterwards we started our real parabolic move towards the cycle top of 2013 and that's why I think we could repeat something similar but uh, we're gonna have to see what will happen here because if we're gonna close today below $49,500 I think the chances are very high that we are going down to test the 20 moving average here in the weekly time frame which is currently at $44,000 and it has been a very long time since we tested this important moving average and that's why I think for the worst case scenario we could even come back down today or in the next coming days to this moving average at 44k and if this one is getting lost then things will start to look very ugly my friends because if we're gonna lose the 20 weekly moving average which also in the past during bull markets acted always as a very important support level then we should target even lower levels for example the 200 daily moving average which currently is here at $35,000.
but this is only if we are really losing the 20 weekly moving average as a support. I don't think that is the case, especially if we're going to have a look here where we are in the Bitcoin stock to flow price model. We are still on track and even if we would drop below this blue trend line here, so below $47,000, then in my opinion, this would be an absolute good buy opportunity for the long term because we are still in our uptrend and also in the bigger time frames, even though we could get here some bigger corrections here in the daily time frame or even in the weekly we are still looking extremely bullish and those bigger corrections always can happen during bull market so don't panic sell my friends don't freak out try to buy the dip if you have some cash on the sidelines you will never buy the bottom so just dca every week a bit into bitcoin while we are dumping because for the long term you should be doing very fine and these are chances for a lifetime so that's why take it as a good buy opportunity don't panic sell don't freak out whatever kind of news you are hearing out there just look at the charts when we are having those bigger corrections always buy the dip because as you can see in the long term you always are doing fine by buying the dips in Bitcoin and also as you can see here we are still far away from a potential cycle top for this bull market of course right now we are dropping and blood is on the streets but this is always a good buy opportunity it's not yet clear if this is now the bottom there is a very high chance that we could even drop towards 40k or 30k but at the end we will go towards our bullish targets way above 100k so if you're just buying in every now and then while we are dumping you should be doing fine for the long term and now I also want to have a look in the Ethereum price because Ethereum, in my opinion, is still looking quite bullish. And I like this chart currently way more than the Bitcoin chart because here yesterday we had a new all time high. Congratulations to every Ethereum hodler and miner. We had a new all time high here of two thousand six hundred thirty dollars. And we were creating this upwards trending channel, but we broke out and currently we are bouncing here at this $2,100 level, a very important support for Ethereum. If this one is getting lost, my next potential support target would be down here at around $1,900, which is very likely to get tested, especially if here we're going to lose the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame. But in the bigger picture, Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish. And as long as we're trading above the EMA ribbons and and above the 50 daily moving average here at 1970 i'm still very bullish here for ethereum and i'm expecting here continuation to the upside unless we're starting to close daily candles below 1970 dollars that of course could be also bearish for ethereum because in that case we also should target here the 100 daily moving average at 1750 dollars and in the worst case scenario even down here the 200 daily moving average currently at 1180 dollars so also Ethereum could maybe get such a harsh big correction like we had on Bitcoin, especially if Bitcoin is reaching the 200 daily moving average, we could see something similar also for Ethereum. But right now at the time of recording, Ethereum is still looking extremely healthy and bullish. And here we didn't broke significant supports for now. So if we can maintain today the 20 daily moving average, which is currently here at around $2,220 and close above, I still think there is very much hope for Ethereum that we could continue our bull market here, even though Bitcoin could go sideways or even correct a bit more. At least for now, Ethereum is still looking very healthy. We're going to have to see what will happen in the next coming days, where we're going to close those daily candles. But if Bitcoin continues to correct, I think even though the chart is still looking good, the chances are also very high that Ethereum could drop same like Bitcoin. So let's hope that Bitcoin right now is finding a bottom here. And as soon as we have more data and we are starting to consolidate here and maybe create a bullish pattern, this could be then the proof and the sign that we are bottoming out here and we could expect a big bounce to the upside to potentially go and test the 60 to 62 thousand dollars area like i told you also in yesterday's video and then we're gonna have to see if we are able also here to create new all-time highs and continue our parabolic bull market or if here we're getting rejected and we're gonna start a prolonged correction phase which can take several weeks or months until then we're gonna bottom out somewhere and continue 
continue our parabolic phase to the upside but that would be really the worst case scenario if something like that is happening because based on the bitcoin stock to flow price model we are still on track and this correction is still healthy but of course we shouldn't lose important supports like the 20 weekly or 200 daily moving average otherwise things could really start to look ugly at least for the next coming months but for the long term bitcoin is heading towards new levels way above 100k so that's why my friends during this phase until we're gonna reach our real cycle top take every bigger correction as a good buy opportunity for the long term don't think about that tomorrow maybe the price could drop another 10k you should have a longer time horizon here you should at least think a couple of years ahead from now if you are investing in bitcoin and overall also in the crypto market so right now in my opinion we have very good chances to find a bottom here if we're gonna create a bullish pattern here in the lower time frames and also if today we are able to close above the 100 daily moving average that could be a sign that we're gonna see a nice breather to the upside to retest this potential new resistance up here and then we're gonna have to decide if we are able to push higher or if we're gonna have a big rejection here and continue our bigger correction so breather in my opinion is incoming we are looking extremely oversold here in the daily time frame and i think as soon as we are reaching complete oversold condition in the rsi and also get here a buy signal in the daily time frame we are in for a nice breather to the upside which can even take us again above sixty thousand dollars so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also check out all my refer links to the recommended exchanges down below here to get some bonus if you sign up with my refer links and also get some extra money and by the way for everyone that is trading futures over on binance make sure to check out the bitscap trading bot for binance because they have a very new binance futures uh, trading bot that you can use directly by connecting your binance exchange to bitscap so if you're trading with futures you can also just easily use their trading bot so if you're trading with futures make sure to sign up to binance with the link down below here and then also connect the bitscap trading bot with the link that you find also here in the description to get this 14 days trial completely for free and a big shout out also to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our discord community then make sure to use the link here in the description once you have clicked on this invitation link you just have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access and if you also want to get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then just contact me here directly on discord because a small donation is needed in order to get the indicator otherwise just get here a youtube membership like this you also have free access to the live stream indicator here in discord so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye